Hello and happy Sunday. I'm so happy to be again here in this space after two weeks of taking a break off of uh, social media and uh, I wanted to share with you how uh, it's been for me these two weeks what uh, I have learned and why it is important to take breaks. Um, first of all, why, um, why I decided to take a break uh, from, uh, from social media and to do like a social media detox uh, and a spiritual detox was because um, basically I uh, got into a point where uh, I uh, used to compare my business and myself a lot with other coaches I had on Instagram. I uh, had to, uh, and I felt like on the way I've, I lost my authentic self uh, because I wanted to be um, like a full support with the people in my space. So that meant that uh, because I thought uh, helping people means to uh, be here all the time to uh, be in this space of social media and being always answering to messages uh, because I understand how it means and how it feels to need help so I was always answering messages I was always on the platform so that meant that uh, I start to losing myself and to lose the, um, the purpose of my uh, work uh, being 24 hours, 7 days per week available on social media. So that's why, uh, because of the cam comparison with other coaches um, and because I uh, got into this point of almost a burnout, I decided to take one week off uh, social media and to do like a social media detox, but also to, to do like um, a body detox and a mental detox. Uh, this week uh, ended up in being uh, more than two weeks because I felt so good and I felt so refreshed. I also did a diet from uh, Medical Medium. Uh, I don't know if you heard about him, but he has like um, a lot of uh, healthy tips and recipes. And also um, he has like a seven days detox where you eat only green stuff, only vegetables and only fruits. So it, you don't eat sugar, you don't eat, uh, drink coffee, you don't eat bread or uh, gluten. So it's like uh, pretty harsh, but the effects are like um, really amazing. It's it's like you we think that we addictions means uh, smoking drinking uh, or even social media but addictions also mean uh, like um, you know sugar coffee uh, bread and uh, all these things so we have a lot of addictions we even uh, without even knowing so when we do like a diet with only fruits and vegetables, we see uh, how many stuff that aren't healthy for us we eat. Indeed, the, um, the, um, the diet is a little extreme, so it was really hard for me to eat only fruits and vegetables for a week because uh, my partner uh, cooked burritos and uh, he made for himself burgers and I felt the smell of food in the house. But um, so uh, it was hard for me to keep up with the diet, but the effects was that uh, in the morning I started to woke up, to wake up more energetic, more refreshed. Uh, my thoughts were, uh, so before this diet I had like uh, anxiety and uh, um, in the morning when I woke up I was really tired. So. Um, um, after I did like only fruits and uh, vegetables for a week without coffee, uh, I started to have more more clear thoughts. I started to be uh, more positive, to feel more relaxed, and to to be more present. In, to be to feel more present. So um, I highly recommend if you uh, can find Medical Medium on Instagram. He also has a lot of books. I followed the 7 days di diet for uh, liver detox. Um, so uh, it's really good for your health even if you have some problems with your liver or with overall you feel really exhausted or you feel anxious or even depressed. Changing your food also helps changing your mind because we are like a system and uh, 
everything we digest from the information we see around us to the food we eat everything uh, influences our nervous system uh, hello everyone thank you for watching me so um, this life uh, in this life uh, i want to talk a little bit the importance of taking breaks from social media and from things that um, like even from uh, work or even from a relationship or even from something that you don't feel yourself anymore. Uh, also, I want to uh, tell you a little bit about what will going to happen for the next months in my business, in this online space, for you to know what to expect, expect from my work. And we will finish the live with a meditation. Uh, so um, if you want to relax a little bit today, um, we will be, uh, I will be talking um, about these topics for around 10 minutes and after that we will do the meditation. So why it is so important for us to take breaks uh, from something that we feel that we start to lose ourselves on the way or we start to, uh, to feel confused or to not feel uh, ourselves anymore is uh, first of all to shift our energies when we take breaks from um, from something we've been involved every day for weeks for months uh, when we take that break and when we uh, take our energy uh, away from that thing uh, we can shift our perspective around that event around that person around that activity so it's really good because uh, this uh, step back help us to get new insights about how can we be a better colleague, a better partner, a better business owner. So um, taking breaks is really recommended when you also feel stuck, when you don't have ideas, when you feel you're not creative anymore. Uh, you know, um, there is a law that it's called the reverse effect. So that means that, you know, at night when you try to fall asleep and the more you think, I want to fall asleep, I want to fall asleep, the more awake you feel, it's the same with our energy. So if we want to find a solution to, to a problem or if you want to, you know, you're in that fight with your partner and you want to, to get alone but, uh, along, but the more you're in that energy, the more you fight, taking a step back, helps you to um, get better results because we feel that in that moment if you stay do there longer you can uh, get better results but doing the opposite so not focusing so much that you want to fall asleep not wanting so much to get a result from that fight in that moment helps you to get things better so it's counterintuitive you know like we've been teached to to fight until the end to stay there to give all our energy but this is not how uh, our uh, organism how our system works we work better when we have our energy clear after we take breaks that's why in school we take breaks at 50 minutes uh, to reshift our energy to be able to enter it with our mind in new fields in new type of knowing so it's the same with our lives and that's why it's so important to take breaks, to shift your energy, to get a new perspective around things and also to gain new insights about yourself. So hope this, uh, um, this insights help you a little bit to know in the future how, uh, why it's better to take a step back from certain situations where you don't feel yourself anymore. Uh, the next thing that, uh, thing that I want to talk today is that um, so for the next uh, month I will be focusing my content and my work uh, around um, helping you to get your dreams fulfilled, to transform that uh, thoughts from your mind into your reality. This is something that uh, I always get in therapy with my clients. We start to work from anxiety, from a point of having their nervous system uh, in a very high intensity state with emotion, overwhelming emotions. And we start, maybe the goal of therapy is uh, I want to have a better life. 
but we in the end we end up of talking about what is your true purpose here on this earth because we all want to give better value of our lives to the people around us in the work we do and I feel there is there is a lot of shifting right now uh, in the collective consciousness around how we live our lives. I feel we are not um, fulfilled with nine to five jobs. We are not fulfilled with a relationship. We are not happy, but just to have a relationship type of mindset. We are not happy with traditional thinking and way of living, especially after the pandemic that made us realize the important values in our lives basically now we we want to have it all we want to have a career where we feel fulfilled we want to have that partner that makes us happy we want to have that body where we feel healthy and energetic so we want to have it all so this is my goal uh, in my work for the next months and from now on to help you find that resources inside yourself, that um, insight about you uh, around how you want to live your life in this new awareness, in this new collective consciousness. So um, basically um, I will help you to um, have it all, to know how to have it all, to make your dreams from the thought level to the reality level to live a conscious life and a conscious relationship uh, and to find your unique voice and contribution into this world. Um, so, um, and um, how it will be traduced, it will be, this will be translated into an online retreat where for one day we will uh, use hypnosis to reprogram your subconscious mind to make your dreams reality. Uh, we will do a one day full of practices and journaling and art therapy where we will work uh, in a group to transform our deepest desires from the mind level to the reality level because every desire that we have it's put there for us to make it a reality. We don't have those desires just to remain at the level of our dreams, but to make them a reality. Those, are, those desires are basically like uh, insights from our subconscious of what is our true contribution into this world. So that's why I really want to use the same process that helps me and that helps me to have my dream relationship, my dream a career of helping people um, and uh, to have my uh, dream health and vitality and I want to help you use the same process the same process that I use with my clients um, for you to have the same reality as well so um, this will be like the future of my work here I wanted to be transparent with you because I believe that transparency sincerity and communication is like the most important value even in therapy if you don't decide to open up your soul and to talk from the bottom of your heart with your coach with your therapist you cannot achieve that um, deep transformation inside uh, so um, um, that's why for the next month uh, I will do an online retreat for the October 1st. I will also do a retreat in Tenerife where we will meet face to face and we will have three days of working with the subconscious mind, of doing dance therapy groups. Uh, we will dance on the beach. It will be really, really cool. Cannot wait for that experience. Uh, and until then I will do every week um, live hypnosis. So uh, every Tuesday from now on, I will do live interactive hypnosis where uh, if you have a problem or if you have a challenge in your life and you want to work on it for free, um, I will do a live and um, you can ask to join me in that live. So uh, we will both be live and I will uh, help you um, work with that challenge uh, using hypnosis. So uh, if you have a challenge in your life right now, write me a message and uh, I, will, um, I will add you on the list for this Tuesday. 
Also, I will do weekly live sessions uh, on talking about the subconscious mind, about uh, our conscious mind, how to make our dreams reality, how to uh, make to create better and conscious relationships in our lives. Um, and also every Sunday I am holding free hypnosis session uh, on my Facebook group. I am going to hold one uh, in 10 minutes in my Facebook group. So if you want to join me, access the link in, in my bio to, to join the group. The hypnosis is free. Um, and uh, if you don't have time or if you don't want to join the group, we will do now a free uh, meditation for a couple of minutes. It will be a relaxation meditation. So uh, if you're in a place where you can relax your body and uh, keep your back straight, um, but not laying down on the beach to not fall asleep. So we will do a relaxation meditation. Okay, so first of all, take a deep breath in. Breathe out, and when you breathe out, also relax your shoulders. <sighs> Lay your back on the chair, on the sofa. And close your eyes. And what I invite you to do now is to focus your attention on the top of your head. Imagine that on the top of your head is like someone starting to do a head massage and it feels like a pleasant stinging or nice warm sensation of relaxation that starts to create on the top of your head. And with this sensation also you create there a feeling of calmness and of peace inside of you. And now, imagine with your mind's eye that this relaxation, like a blanket, starts to come down and covers your forehead. And if you have a frown on your forehead, relax it and replace it with an inner smile. And now this relaxation comes down and covers your eyes this smooth relaxing blanket comes down to your cheeks and it relaxes your tongue and your teeth and your lips and now this relaxation is coming down and it relaxes your neck muscles and it feels like your head is lighter now and more relaxed and let this blanket of relaxation coming down to your shoulders and it feels like with each breath you take you feel a new wave of relaxation that comes down and relaxes every tiny muscles and bone and tissue from your body and let this relaxation coming down from your shoulders to your hands now and to relax all your, all your muscles and your tissues and your bones from your hand. It relaxes your elbow. And now this relaxation is coming back and it relaxes your fingers and it feels like you have a pleasant stinging or a tingling sensation in your fingers that it feels so good and relaxing. And now, this relaxation comes back and relaxes your chest and it feels like with every breath you can breathe deeper and more relaxed. And this blanket of relaxation comes down and it relaxes your belly and every internal organ feels like now it can be even more relaxed and relieved. And it feels so good to be in your own body. And let this blanket of relaxation allow it to relax your sitting bones. And now it 
covers your legs as well and until it relaxes your knees and it goes to the top of your toes. And with every breath you take, a new wave of relaxation comes down and relaxes every little inch of your body. It feels so good inside. It feels so good to be you. It feels so good to be relaxed on a Sunday. And stay here a little bit with this pleasant sensation of relaxation. Enjoy it. Allow it to be even more in your body with every breath you take. In every cell of your body. And now, slowly, you can bring this relaxation with you. In your reality, when you open your eyes and you feel refreshed and energetic and calm and really peaceful inside. Hope you enjoy this short relaxation. I am going now over in my Facebook group when I will, where I will do a hypnosis for attracting prosperity in our lives. So if you want to go deeper with this relaxation, go into my bio and access the Facebook group. It will be a free hypnosis. Hope to see you there. Thank you for following me and thank you for taking time from your Sunday to spend it with me and to relax together today. I appreciate you for taking time for yourself and I wish you a beautiful Sunday ahead. Take care.